So before this video starts, uh, my dumbass kind of forgot to explain how to buy the mod uh, in the video, so I'm doing it now. This is gonna go before the actual video, so you'll you, you'll you'll understand it. This you'll see this before the video plays. But anyway, um. So the way you buy this mod is off of their Patreon. I'll have a link to it in the description. It's ten bucks a month. It can be more if you want to support the mod more. Uh, there are four different tiers. There's the dollar one, which you don't get access to the mod. You don't get that access to the mod for five dollars either. You only get it for the the ten dollar and the fifteen dollar one. I'm not a hundred percent sure what the difference between the ten and fifteen dollar one is. I just usually get the ten. Uh, but anyway, once you do that, once you buy it, you uh, make sure your Patreon and Discord are linked. And then you get a role in Discord. You can either buy it in their Discord or you can go here in their Patreon after you buy it. And you can just download the links right there. Uh, so yeah, that being said, that's how you buy it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That being said, I'm out. Peace. Hey y'all, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today for you guys, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install NVE into your 5M. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, when you do like buy the, the mod, it does come with instructions. So you probably won't even need this video. But, uh, you know, I always found it helpful to watch things instead of follow instructions. I'm more of a watcher learner. I like to watch things and learn them that way than read them, if that makes any sense. Anyway, enough yapping. Uh, so we're going to be starting with the, the main package folder right here. We're going to copy and paste these, just like this. Uh, where's copy? Okay, I guess we'll just do it this way. Control C. Oh, what did I do? Cancel that. Don't do that. Uh, copy to clipboard. Okay, maybe you did need to do that. Okay, now that that's done, it's copied to our clipboard now. So now what we're gonna do is, we are going to go to our 5M application data, which to do that, we're gonna press the window key plus R, which is gonna bring up this menu, and then we're going to press OK. We're not going to touch anything. In the search bar, we're just going to press OK. Now, we're going to scroll through this and look for 5M. Once we find 5M, we're going to click into it. We're going to go to our 5M application data. Then, the uh, the folders that we just copied and pasted, we're going to, or copied, we're going to paste into our application data just like this. You may need to replace it. That is completely fine. Go ahead and do that. And bada bing, bada boom, it's in. Now, um, what we want to do now is we want to go back. Not in this folder. We're going to go back here. I use WinRun to open my zip files. By the way, you can use uh, the whatchamacallit. You can use uh, the default one or whatever you use. Perfectly fine as well. Um, anyway, so now what we want to do is we want to go to optional add-ons. You can add any of these i'm gonna add a few of them and i will be right back so i was thinking um maybe i should show you guys how to do this just in case there's one of you watching this video that don't know how to do this so all you have to do is just drag the the rpf file into the particular add-on that you want into your your uh your uh 5m mods folder and because I already have most of these in due to having previous versions of NVE, I'm going to have to replace them. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, I just installed brighter emergency lights, optional add-ons. I'm going to do animated gas stations next and continue going down the list of the things that I like. Okay, so now that I'm done installing my add-ons, um, you're going to go into your reshade the reshade shaders uh folder and we're going to copy all the files in the folder and paste them in our application data plugins folder which will be right here so we can do this uh copy files to clipboard wait for that to do that go to plugins and then we paste them 
I'm going to have to replace some of them. You might too. You might have to as well. That is completely fine. Go ahead and do that. And uh, bada bing, bada boom. We're done. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hop in game and I'm going to show you guys uh, what we just installed. All right. So as you can see, we are in game. And just by looking around, you can tell this is definitely not the base GTA 5 graphics. It is becoming nighttime, uh, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys the menu by pressing your insert key. It'll bring up this menu. It'll probably be somewhere like around here on your screen, but you can drag it by uh, grabbing this side of the menu where there's no like tabs on it and then just uh, dragging it with your mouse. Uh, so the first thing you'll see is all of these options like uh, raindrops. Or screen raindrops this is really cool i prefer to have that on uh this you you'll you'll have like this bloom effect on it it makes things like brighter and uh oops it um it kind of oh i just lost my car it kind of makes things um look a little bit sharper too it can make things look a little uh little like uh i don't know it's hard Hard to describe. You'll kind of see it if you leave that setting on. I'm kind of in between leaving it on and leaving it off. Uh, I'll have to see it, what it really looks like during the day to make my full decision. But that is that particular setting. The raindrops, I love. Uh, my personal favorite part about this menu, though, is... See if I can find it. Let's see. Did that work? Oh, that might just work. Um. Oh, it's in here. So my personal favorite part about this menu, oh, it didn't work, um, is the fact that you can change how bright your lights are and whatnot. So if you don't have bright, like, police lights, you can change them within this menu, which I find extremely cool. Um, let's see if I can go back to the default one here. I think this is it. Um. So yeah, um, you can do whatever you want with the menu. You can change whatever you want. I'm not going to go too far into it. I'm going to leave it everything on default. Uh, if you know more about the menu, feel free to change it. But the only thing I personally like to mess with is the lights. I like to make mine super bright. I love bright lights. And uh, yeah. So I think that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for the video. So if you guys enjoyed it. Consider smash the like button if you're new. Consider smash the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I go live and upload a video. And with that being said, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I will try to answer them. And with that being said, I'm out. Peace.